What is going on guys? Sasha here from Sasha Tech and today we are going to be installing a hard drive into our desktop PC. This is probably one of the most easiest upgrades you can do. Um, we're going to be adding 4 whole terabytes. That's a lot. And um, let's get into it. What we will need for this project is one hard drive which is in this box. We'll get to opening it soon. One SATA power cable. Um, this actually has like four different things so you can basically plug four different hard drives into it. It's just a pretty nice feature. Um, then we have a bunch of these SATA data cables. Um, I, I have two, but I actually bought three, but I don't know where that one went. Um, so with, with that over, let's uh, open, open the hard drive. So I just got this from Seagate. It's the ST4000 DMB04, which is uh, something. So you take your apple slicer and uh, open up that that part like so. Make sure to be safe. You want to always close it. And then inside we have the hard drive itself, which is a. Uh, Quite, it's a lot, it's a lot thinner than I thought it would be. But it, so here, this is da this is power, this is data, and this I have no idea what it's for. So they all plug, like this. This is goes in your computer. So that's probably what we have to do. So here is the desktop. You always want to turn things off when you do stuff like this. But I don't really give a poop about that. Um. So I'm just gonna. There we go. I've opened that up. Oh, what do you know? I have an extra SATA data cable coming from my motherboard to here just in preparation for another hard drive. That's that's incredible. So, all right. So, I found this bag of screws. They are the M that M35 flat screws, which is what I'm supposed to use. It came with with the case. And I also got the uh, front off. Uh, I just need to slide this in here, like so. That that was easy, yeah. There are screws, slots here, here, and here, which are meant for the uh, drive because they're right here. So we need six screws in total. One, three here, and then three on the other side. I don't know how I'm supposed to show you this, but there's a hard drive. I need to get three more on that side, which is going to be a little bit difficult, but I'll find out how to do it. So let me take, take some of my screws. So let's, let's uh, plug in the data, data cable. Uh, like, like so, right, there we go, and there is actually another power cable here, but I'm not going to be able to reach, so I will have to open this power cable, right, so, um, now that I have these power cables, I can plug in this to one of the existing power. There we go. That went in. Took some force. And plug in this end of the power cable into this. There we go. And the hard drive has turned on. Let me just, uh, push these cables back into the computer. Okay, so computer management. Um, there is a disk one, which is my SSD that I've had before. It has 450 megabytes for a healthy, um, a forward recovery partition, 99 megabytes for a EFI system partition, and 223.02 Gigabits NTFS of boot page file crash dog on primary partition, but this is unallocated, so we need to 
um, do something about that. New simple volume. Next, um, minimum and the maximum. We'll just go for the maximum. Okay. Assign the following drive letter. I'll do the uh, S. Let's do. Let's go to S for Sashu Tech. Um. Oh wait, no. Yeah. That's that's good. Format this volume with NTFS for uh, the default unit size. Okay, volume label. Nope. New volume. Finish. And it's formatting. We should see it. There we go. There we go, guys. It worked. It worked. And we don't have any files in it because, well, I just partitioned it. But we have 6.6, 3.63 terabytes free of 3.63 terabytes. Which is great. So this is just one whole big primary partition. Whew. And the drive works. What else do you want, guys? from me <laughs> all right guys if you like this video and if you learned something from this video um i i sure did i learned that you're supposed to go into the system managers and allocate the drive before you do anything um and then it'll pop up it'll work great um other than that though if you want to see more videos just like this one hit the subscribe button at the bottom somewhere like somewhere around here it'll be a subscribe button and hit the notification bell right next to it so that you'll be the first to know when I come out with another video I'll see you guys in the next one